Hey, I'm Officer Ronnie Esquivel. Thank you very much for tuning into our vlog. Today, we are gonna hang out with a mounted patrol unit that's located at our capital. But first, we need to prep the horses. So let's go see if they need some help. Let's go. Oh, Roger, good morning. Maggio. How are you? Pleasure. <laughs> good, how are you? Great. Uh, Ronnie Esquivel. Welcome. Good morning, morning. Ronnie Esquivel. Brandon Moore. We are just about to get started on our morning chores and get our horses ready, give them their mash. Awesome. This feels good. In the morning and afternoon, this is our uniform because it's easy to wash. If you don't like to get dirty, it's definitely not the job for you. What's your favorite part about working at MPU? It's that relationship with the animal, without a doubt. I worked 18 years in a patrol car out in the field, and there's nothing like getting on the back of a horse at the Capitol. Just the reaction from the public that you get, just the awe. People remind me every day how cool my job is. So for someone like me who wearing cowboy hat for the very first time. Let's say suddenly I strike an interest. I want to get on the mounted patrol unit. I don't have any personal experience. I've never been on a horse. I've never been around horses. Is this attainable? It's actually preferred because you don't have any bad habits yet. Um, it's a lot harder for me to train somebody out of their bad habits than it is just to start fresh. I would ask that you take some basic lessons just so that you are familiar with the horse, you can groom him um, so that you're safe around the horse. And then the rest I like to do. I prefer Perfect. to train you from the ground up. Awesome. So there's hope. There's, uh, there's hope. <laughs> there, it's, it's, yeah, there's definitely hope. Horses are ready to eat. Sam, there you go, say hi. That's Samson. So he's a solid horse. We can put anybody on him and that's the horse we're gonna surprise you with. You oh, get to hop awesome. on him before we <laughs> head out. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, stop, oh, oh, say it. Before they go through all the trouble of grooming the horse, saddling the horse, they need to make sure the horse is fit for duty. Just like our pre-patrol check. Exactly, that's a perfect analogy. It's a pre-horse pre -horse patrol check. I have him trod out, so we're watching the back end of that horse to see if they're even. And then when he turns around, very controlled, he'll come back towards us, and I'll be watching the front end, make sure everything's sound and healthy there. Hey, stop. Open this way. Pretty amazing for your first time. All right. And since he's yours today, it's I gotta job. pick it up. All right. One of the things that uh, is important is we check their feet. Okay. Check inside the where the shoe is, because it'll get compacted with poop and dirt, and sometimes rocks and gravel, and that'll that'll make them lame. This just helps us brush it out and gives it a little shine. And it's just a quick, you're just brushing that last bit of dust off okay. so we can throw the saddle on. Remember that little surprise we talked about earlier? Well, here it is. I'm actually gonna get up on a horse. Again, I've never ever ridden a horse in my life. This is the first time I've actually been around horses. So this is all brand new to me. Wish me luck. All right. Grab that mane. Here? Yep. Good job. This is something we do in training to help teach the riders balance. Okay and how important that is. I thought the horse was gonna go around the world, but we have to go around the world. This is a competition. One, two, three. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. Wow. All right, that was awesome. <laughs> Boy, there's no embarrassing you. No. You're definitely athletic, without a doubt. That's probably the most graceful first time around the world yeah, I've ever seen. There you go, clear that foot. Drop. Now drop. No, <laughs> my giraffe, he's a trained giraffe horse. We're all done here. I'm gonna change out and we're gonna head to the Capitol and finish off the rest of our day. So let's go. Boom. All right, we made it to the Capitol. Change into my uniform. All the horses look pristine. All the officers are in their, uh, in their uniforms. And so now you can get a 
real good perspective of how massive these horses are. And they're massive because the CHP only uses one type of horse, right? That's correct. And what type of horse does the CHP use? Well, exclusively, we use draft horses. Why did the department use draft? Their very nature is very docile, um, very relaxed. They're uh, not easily spooked or scared. And then their large size is, is great for you know, peacefully being able to move large crowds or for any type of civil disturbance. At the Capitol, we get thousands of school groups every day. Right. Uh, Today is no exception, and they're very quiet. They allow the kids to come up, they get an opportunity to pet them, ask questions. Tell me a little bit about the daily duties. We saw what we did in the beginning of your shift, and now that we're here at the Capitol, obviously things are a lot different. You know, what we do here at the Capitol is a little different than anywhere else. Um, we have a lot of, uh, you know, like city, police department type duties. We're in charge of protecting the state capitol and all of its assets as well as the other state buildings uh, in downtown Sacramento. First thing that we do uh, when we get them off the trailer is do a trip around the capitol park and make sure everything is as it should be. Once we've patrolled the park a couple times and we'll go check other state buildings nearby. Much what you would do in a patrol car but the horses are able to get into areas um, downtown that you can't with a patrol car. We're going to let them get on with their beat. I got one, one last question. Um, do you think I got what it takes? Oh, absolutely. You're a natural. You're you a natural. That? Cool. <laughs> awesome. Th thank you so much. Yeah. I had a pleasure. Again, this was a first time experience for me and uh, I cannot thank you enough. So remember, please like, subscribe, comment below, and we'll see you at our next vlog. Have a good one.